All right, so if you're trying to install one of these smart thermostats in a house that doesn't have one and you may have an older heating unit and a separate newer AC unit, this is most likely going to be your solution. So I've already pulled this out. Basically, you have two batches of wires going to the thermostat. You got this two wire batch with the red and the white right here. Okay, that's coming from the heat. This thicker one with one, two, three, four, five wires. These two aren't connected, but the other three are going in here. I'm colorblind, red, yellow, green, I believe. And then we have the white and the blue up here. These unused white and blue, but blue is gonna be your common wire. So it's, on, it's disconnected here. It's probably gonna be disconnected up at the unit. So we're gonna go up in the attic to the air conditioning unit. We're gonna open the panel and we're gonna connect the blue wire there. We're gonna connect the blue wire here and then that should give us common wire so that our new smart thermostat will actually work because without that, it's not going to. So I'm now up in the attic at my AC unit, uh, just trying to figure out what wire would be the common wire and where it would go. I've already opened up this, which is where obviously all these wires are going into, and I could see that there's a connection for common wire already going in. The common wire, according to this diagram, so here's a common wire, common wire is brown coming out of the unit so that tells me this is the common wire there was no common wire going to the thermostat however the common wire is going to this yellow wire right here which is one of the wires going to the overflow float switch so now I just pulled the wire nut off of there I'm going to strip this blue wire, which we stripped down at the thermostat to make the common wire because it was unused. We're going to twist it in with that, put the wire nut back on, and we will have a common wire and that thermostat should work and power both the AC and heat as it was previously. Um, this panel was removed from there, obviously. It should have all your wiring diagrams on it, which... That'll help you figure out which wire is your common. And all of this, this is all from the control box. So you see this is a wire coming out of the control box to a common. So the brown is your common. So wire is stripped. It's now connected to this brown, which is the common coming out of the AC unit. So we're going to go back downstairs, connect the wires to the thermostat, and hook up the thermostat and uh, see if we get everything to work. And we're now got our wires connected to the new plate for the new thermostat. The blue wire is there. That's our common, as I just showed you up in the attic. Uh, let's plug in the face of this thermostat and see if it's going to work. Okay, so I've gone through the setup procedure. We now have the system currently heating. And we will make sure that this zone is getting heat with our handy dandy infrared thermometer I can hear it working and there's your heat we are heating now we went through this I also have the return for the AC open so let's see if we're getting air conditioning come back here change the mode to cool done fan is on auto so it took a couple of seconds, but now we are cooling, and you can hear that we are cooling. And you can see that we are cooling. That's it. These thermostat companies like to make it seem more complicated than it is to get these smart thermostats to work when you have two separate heating and cooling systems you just need to do what we said. I had a couple of people come in and give me a quote to take care of it before I decided to look into it and one place wanted five hundred dollars to run a wire to get the thermostat to work and this took maybe but a half hour. So now the whole reason why we're doing this is because the thermostats in the hallway here and it controls the heat in the main living space zone, which is the living room and the kitchen, but it's freezing out here and it thinks that it's up to temperature. So you can have the remote sensor, which we just connected, and place this where you want to place it, and 
and then it'll read the temperature there.